right? All right, you see my screen okay? The Yeah, we're all set to go. Okay, all right, guys. Welcome to day two of our five-day revenue boost challenge. I'm super excited to have you guys back today. Um, we're going to be uh, diving into kind of a critical step for generating consistent leads and crafting an irresistible offer that gets people raising their hands and ready to work with you. Um, so yesterday we talked about the importance of combining lead generation with a powerful sales process to create what I call the revenue boost system. Um, <clears throat> a few of you guys, I think, um, had shared back with me um, your um, your 30, 60 day analysis. So I appreciate that. Um, hopefully you guys got some value from taking a look at that and really determining which leads had uh, stalled or that had gone cold in your in your pipeline. Um, oh, sorry. Today, we're going to talk about, um, obviously, our crafting our irresistible offer. Um, we're going to go through a couple of different offers and combinations of offers that you can think about, you know, incorporating into your business. Um, and I want you guys to really kind of t take a, take a moment for this. This is really, really important for anybody's business. Um, and the best way I can kind of explain it is, you know, we can do marketing, we can put out a generalized, you know, kind of generic message. Um, and a lot of times those, they just don't resonate, especially if you're in a highly competitive, um, environment, if you're not able to stand out from your competition, or if you're bringing in leads of customers that you don't necessarily want to be working with, this is a good sign that in fact, you do have a, an offer issue. Okay. So we're going to break it down, um, today and, uh, go through a bunch of examples of what good offers look like and, you know, what, what you guys can do to make yourself stand out in the, in the in the busy world that's out there, especially um, in the contracting world, you want to be able to, um, you know, outperform other people uh, that are competing for the same type of work. So what is an offer? An offer um, addresses a specific need that gives immediate value or require, requires a low commitment. Another way we can kind of look at offer is an offer is a specific problem. You solve a specific way for a very specific person. Okay. Um, and you want to make sure that your offer actually speaks to the audience that you're trying to attract. And this is where I see most of the problems kind of start to occur um, is let's say maybe you haven't done marketing uh, before and you copy somebody else's offer, right? Well, I mean, that's kind of the equivalent of wearing somebody else's underwear. Um, and really, you don't know which kind of client that speaks to, how to serve them. So it's really important, that, especially in the early days of your business, that you're identifying, like, what are your actual customers' needs? What are they telling you? What are they sharing with you? What kind of, um, you know, what kind of clues are they giving you um, when working with them? All right. And then we want to take all of that. So and we want to try and you know, describe it to them in a way that we're, we're, we're solving something very specific. So for example, like a free roof inspection or a safety audit. Okay. Um, second, we want to add urgency. So a big problem uh, with a lot of people's marketing is it just doesn't have any urgency. There's no real reason to, to move forward with it. So adding time limits or adding a scarcity, um, that's always going to help and in, in try in getting people to actually convert on any sort of advertising or marketing that you're doing. Um, another, another option, um, that I feel needs to be in, in every offer is a low commitment. Um, so it feels like a no brainer for the, for the person that's receiving it. Okay. And then a clear next step or a call to action. All right. So a call to action is simply what you want them to do next. Um, and these are all the kind of the elements of a strong offer. Okay. So how does this support your, your business and its goals? The powerful offer builds trust and attracts leads who are ready to engage. 
um, no more chasing leads um, and let them come to you. So again, in sales, a lot of times we're often chasing, all right? Um, your salespeople in, in general tend to, you know, spend a lot of time trying to hustle to try to make sales. Um, a good marketing program and a good marketing offer is actually going to pull customers towards you. They're going to actually, you know, be pursuing you. So this is a big difference, right? The best way I can kind of explain this is companies that really know how to market well and know how to position themselves well and have a great offer. Um, they have, they have steady, consistent leads. All right. People are actually reaching out to pursue them versus, you know, somebody that um, maybe hasn't mastered this yet. And they're constantly playing the, the feast and famine game. Um, even if they're really great at sales, they're really highly dependent on, on the sales end of their business. And this is equivalent to just hustling all the time. All right. Again, you can get by with it for sure, but eventually, you know, it, you're going to run out of, you're going to run out of space and energy to, to continue to hustle. Right. So this is why we want to really take a good, a good look at our marketing program, because that's what essentially allows you to kind of slow down on the hustle and have people just come to you. And that's what we want in terms of consistency. The risk of not taking action. If you don't implement this, uh, you will continue to rely on word of mouth or passive leads. Um, you'll lose clients to competitors who are using strong offers. OK, um, especially B2B. Um, and, you know, a lot of B2C, depending on what you're doing specifically, um, you can see a, a new competitor come into the market that has a stronger offer. I've experienced it. I, I've, I've been through it um, where they're going to, you know, essentially pull all the wind out of your sales um, by just having a better offer, better, a better suggestion to the market and how they can fix their specific problem. And then you're kind of left scrambling. Right. So we want to make sure that we're always making adjustments to these. And we talked a little bit yesterday about the importance of promotions. So taking a promotion or a sale and placing that strategically in in your, um, you know, slower times of the season. So you're getting consistency. Um, I wanted to bring that up as well. Like that can be a part of your offer. So how you run your sales, how you um, do your promotions. Again, this all comes back down to, you know, your ability to make an offer. All right. So um, our action steps for today is actually to create your irresistible offer. I've provided a whole bunch of templates that we're going to go through right now um, as examples. All right. But I want you guys to really think of your offer and then share it into the group and we'll give you back some um some feedback on that um and we want to make sure that you're running a, a really a really good offer so a good offer this time of year I'll I'll tell you in our in our own business we're running a christmas light offer um where we're hanging christmas lights we do quite a bit of um we do quite a bit of that work um and that's, uh, again, that's a, that's a seasonal promotion. We also run a promotion this time of year for insulation. And um, we run a secondary promotion for snow guards and uh, gutters. Okay. The reason we do that is we actually run it back to all the jobs that we lost throughout the season. So we bid it on a few hundred jobs. All right. They maybe went ahead with somebody else, but we know there's things that they still wanted to get done. Um, that maybe they didn't get done or that the other company didn't um, actually complete with them. So to recover our our um, our marketing dollars, um, we run a cross promotion or an upsell where even if we didn't get the main core offer, um, which would be the metal roof, we actually still manage to get, you know, insulation, we get snow guards, we get other services that were simply left behind by other contractors. And again, you know, in terms of uh, dominating your market and, and being on top of your client base, um, you know, it's a great, it's a great way to kind of look at it. So um, let's go through, actually we'll do, we'll do HVAC first. And Johnny, I wrote some of these for you. So some of them are for um, residential, but um, in terms of HVAC, HVAC is kind of the original, um, you know, they're they're far advanced in their marketing. And, and I learned a lot from, you know, really, really well-marketed HVAC companies in general. Um, they've kind of always led the charge in reoccurring revenues and 
promotions. Um, they've also, uh, you know, kind of really dominated with maintenance contracts and how to position themselves so that they're consistently bringing in work with, with homeowners and keeping their, their client base locked down. That's, you know, what's really kind of, you know, representative of the HVAC industry is like they have customers for life. All right. They're continuously doing service for them over and over again, whereas other markets just haven't, um, you know, haven't evolved enough where they could be doing the exact same thing that the HVAC guys are doing um, and see their businesses grow exponentially. So it's about five times more expensive to develop and, and build a new customer or go find a new customer than it is to keep the ones that you already have. OK, so um, with that in mind. There's a couple of uh, HVAC offers that I came up with. Johnny, you're probably going to laugh at some of these on me, but, um, you know, I tried to blend them into what I have. So, you know, beat the heat HVAC discount. So running a discount, again, summertime uh, systems installation replacement uh, with booked within 30 days, emphasizing the urgency of preparing for the upcoming seasonal temperature changes. So we would run this promotion again during cooling season, right? Um, comfort now, pay later financing, um, really, really strong and powerful if you're trying to get over price objections or, or money concerns. So providing a 0% uh, percent interest uh, financing for 24 months with no payments for the first six months, making it easier for homeowners or business owners to upgrade to a more efficient HVAC system uh, with upfront costs. Another way you can present these offers too is upgrades. Okay, so getting someone to actually upgrade now versus waiting, or if they were, you know, had a budget for maybe a entry level system, being able to actually move them to a higher level um, system where you're going to make a better margin. Um, financing super powerful. If you do incorporate that into your offers, um, always, a, always a good move um, and relatively easy to, uh, to get nowadays. Um, so energy efficiency upgrade, HVAC package includes a free upgrade to a high efficiency air filter system and smart thermostat with every uh, full HVAC system replacement, helping homeowners save on energy bills and improve indoor air quality. Okay, so that's a cross sale, right? We're gonna actually bring in a different, you know, different element to it. But again, think about who I'm speaking to there that's, you know, looking for energy efficiency and, you know, maybe attracted to that package, right? So each one of these, I kind of have a, a type of customer. I'm thinking of an avatar behind it. All right. Um, lifetime comfort, um, HVAC warranty promotion. So offer a lifetime warranty on labor and parts for HVAC systems installed during the 30 day promotion, ensuring long term peace of mind and comfort for homeowners. OK, so what kind of homeowner would be, um, you know, really interested in a lifetime warranty? OK, or business owner for that. You can run the same promotion in B2B, right? Um, so they're looking for peace of mind. It's a very specific type of client. Okay. Not all of them are. If you're the cheap tire kicker type of client, you're definitely not going to be attracted to that. You're not going to want, you know, an extended warranty or anything like that. But there are a good percentage of people that would that want just the full peace of mind. Uh, neighborhood, uh, neighbor referral, um, HVAC reward, give $500 cash reward to homeowners who refer a neighbor that completes a full HVAC system installation, encourage community-based referrals. Um, again, we do this uh, quite often, um, is that we'll make the offers. So you can have offers, you know, that go out when you initially intake a, um, a new lead. All right. So we'll do this um, from, you know, we'll do this quite often if somebody's called in. Um, you know, while we're doing the initial discovery, we'll ask, hey, you know, if you're interested um, and you have any neighbors that might be looking to get their roofs done at the same time, you know, we offer this, you know, incentive. So you can actually bring down the cost of your roof by $500 for everyone else that we sign up. And it's sometimes led to having like 10 homeowners show up to these calls. So we're selling to a whole bunch of people at, at one time versus once, right? Again, it's just about how you're positioning um, and how you incorporate these things. But like I said, your core offer is actually the HVAC installation, but you know your secondary uh, profit maximizers is how to get the referral system. And that's an offer on its own, okay? Uh, solar ready HVAC incentive, provide free solar panel consultation and a thousand dollar credit towards a future solar installation for homeowners upgrading their HVAC system, appealing to eco-conscious customers. So this is a cross promotion, okay? 
this is where you can actually team up with another um, another service that actually you know works similar to you. Um, we've done this. We work with um, electricians and solar companies. We work with windows companies, door companies, where we're actually running our promotion and incorporating them. And we can even get some cross, you know, um, cross marketing dollars too. So you might you might team up with them. You both agree that we'll run this promotion where we're both we're both benefiting from it. It helps to bring down some of the marketing costs. But again, think about that to the consumer, right? What's that say? All right. Instant quote, instant HVAC discount. So offer an additional 5% off homeowners who request and accept an HVAC system quote through the company's apps or website within 24 hours. All right. So how do you like that one? Try that one on for size. So if somebody accepts your quote within 24 hours, all right, we'll give you a 5% discount. How's that for creating urgency? Right? How many how many how many owners do you think would get them to get over those objections if you were able to throw that in? Right? Um yeah, this can also speed be things up. Yeah. What's up? So yeah, that would speed things up. Yeah, absolutely. So and think about the problem that we're having right now. It's not so much that people are um you know, that, that people are turned off the prices is that people are taking longer to make decisions. They're being a lot more careful with their money and spending right now, right? So we have to be able to think of clever ways to get them to, to see the, um, the incentive, right? And get them to actually move across the line. A big problem that we had this year versus the last few years is the lack of urgency, right? People are putting things off. People are waiting and delaying on on offers. So what's going to happen? Um, and you know, because the demand hasn't gone away, like HVAC systems still have to be replaced, roofs still have to be replaced. They still want to get projects done. But by them putting it off, what's going to happen is by next year, as the interest rates start to fall back down, we're going to have this huge rush, and it's going to overload your 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 system, like just like we did during COVID. We're going to have a similar kind of rush on services. Um, because the demand has been is still there. It's still, you know, we're still undermanned for it. So a big part of being strategic this year is getting people to actually make the sales during the slower periods, right? And this is exactly what promotions and offers does, is it helps to get those people across the line so that we're we're not we're keeping busy consistently versus having, you know, big um, ups and downs in our in our revenue. Right. So again, we we, we want to look at kind of what our sales has been and look for those periods where we have a slower period to run these kind of promotions or offers. Um, storm resistant HVAC uh, specialist offer provide free inspection to cover um, and cover up to a thousand dollars insurance deductible for storm damage to HVAC systems, ensuring customers get their systems back up and running quickly after severe weather. So I'll share with you where this came from. Um, we work with a lot of insurance related uh, companies that do a lot of uh, like hail damage and stuff like that. After a storm, most HVAC companies don't even realize, but like all those units basically have to be replaced, right? So anytime there's been a hail storm, um, we especially roofs are the first thing, roofs, gutters, everything else. Um, we started to run, um, you know, we've worked with like window companies, but this is where we kind of got our cross promotion. And the things that get replaced, again, are, are HVAC units, AC units, stuff like that, that have been damaged by large hailstones. So again, you can run an offer like that, that's going to, uh, you know, help if you're, if you're any of those storm areas. Yeah, Nick, I see you got your hand up. Yes. Uh, so back to the one, the 5% uh, discount off yep. if you like, sign up within 24 hours. Yep. Uh, you said, so this is something that you would use in your slower period. So it would be like a flexible, like markup. So uh, when you're busy, your markup goes up a little bit and mm -hmm. you get more sales or more profit. And this is not baked in, right? That would be an actual like 5% off of your price. R right. Now, so again, once you kind of do your sales forecasting, um, I think we, we've talked about it before, but when we take a look at what our historic numbers have been, you know what your slower seasons are. What, we, what we're doing is we do, um, you know, again, supply and demand. So like during our peak season, our prices are up higher, right? You know, we're five, six, seven, eight percent above. And what we're doing at that point is we're actually offsetting our promotions for um, mm -hmm. like winter promotions and stuff like that. You can do it that way. Um, obviously, you never you got to know your numbers. You don't want to lose any money on these things. Um, 
but again, it's mo it's mostly built into it. Um, and if you are running these promotions, you want to you want to budget for that. So if you've been, you know, you know that your typical busy season is you know all the way through summer to to September, all right? You might add you know five or six percent to that so that you can run this promotion and it's not going to have any revenue effect. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, just for me, like since I don't, I haven't started gathering data. I and it seems like I don't have the slow season, or you know, it's it seems like mm -hmm. it's always changing. So I don't have any data to back it up. So that to do like a flexible markup, like that for me would not be like a good idea right now. Mm -hmm. The the other thing is idea. you can put it into the price and reduce it or that right. So I mean, again, that's a that's always an option. Is that you're 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 giving yourself enough space. So another good example is we put um, the financing in every offer. So I actually have the markup in there for a finance plan because I'm going to say to a homeowner, let's say I get into a price objection. All right. We're going to go, well, you know what? I totally understand that, you know, the price is a bit high. Um, what if I were to, you know, break this down into 12 equal monthly payments for you, would that help us to move forward today? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, everybody has that financing. Now, if they pay cash or they pay up front, all right, and then you go in, that's an easy place because it's about three to 4% for that financing uh, program if I want to carry it. So we just simply switch it into this, right, to get them to get them to sign up on it. You good. You good. All right. So you can do the same thing. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, first responder or military HVAC appreciation. So provide a 10% discount to HVAC services for first responders, active military and veterans uh, showing support for uh, those who serve the community. Again, depending on your, um, your, your marketing um, avenue or your traffic source for this, that these usually do fairly good. And believe it or not, they actually bring in more customers that aren't uh, first responders and military for the fact that you're making that offer. Okay. So mo that's like sort of a well-known, um, you know, thing is that you're making that offer for the few customers that you will get through that'll take you up on it. And first responders, any, you know, police services, anything like that, they generally do stick together. So you'll get a lot of repeat business working with them. Um, but it's generally, it's, it's a, it's a community-based offer. Okay. Um, HVAC price match guarantee plus. So match a competitor's written quote uh, for an HVAC system installation, provide additional 5% discount. You got to be very careful with this particular one. Um, and it's got to be, you know, obviously comparing apples to apples. Generally, when I see these um, type of offers ran and when I've ran them myself, um, what I'm matching towards is a product that I have a, um, you know, I have an unfair advantage with. All right. So, for example, we um, we have a, a manufacturer that we work directly with, uh, Vic West. All right. And they have a specific product line. That's the only one I'm matching on. So, again, it's it goes out nicely to the like to the community where we can say, hey, we'll match, you know, any, you know, Vic West product price and beat it by five percent. All right. Pretty, pretty irresistible at that point to anybody that gets that. Right. But I know I have a direct buying and I'm in tier one. So like no one's able to buy it cheaper than I am. So the only way they would be able to um, kind of come in and, and um, you know, under underprice me is if they underprice themselves. Does that make sense? Yeah. HVAC and you, is the same thing. And have you ran into that where they have really underpriced of job and you still meet yeah that? so it, it's it's happened you know a couple of times but it, you know for all the times that we've won with the offer it's it's completely offset so like the few times that it kind of had to bite it it wasn't um it wasn't as severe and and again i'm dealing with people that have to buy direct right so um there's not a lot of guys that can buy the product to begin with so their price if they were to buy it from any supplier would put them higher than, you know, we're talking 30% difference, right? So it's very, very rare. They basically have to price the labor for free. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah, we've been, and, and again, we only honor certain, you know, companies we have, we have ran into it where they say, well, I've got a price from this guy. I'm like, show me the quotes, right? Make sure that it's a legit HVAC. You can, you can run similar things. So it depends on what you're offering, right? It depends on your relationship with your suppliers and like how, you know, your market, but again, just it, it gets people across the line, right? It's an irresistible offer um, when you're, when you're making them. 
All right. Um, Eco-friendly uh, HVAC tax credit assistance. So assistance for homeowners applying uh, for the maximizing of available tax credits for energy efficient HVAC systems and offer matching uh, company credit up to $500 for choosing an eco-friendly upgrades. So very specifically, the avatar that I'm looking to speak to here again, eco-friendly, all right, um, energy efficient. And believe me, that is a huge, huge market that's just exploding now, especially with the baby boomers, believe it or not, they are kind of leading the charge with the eco-friendly, you know, green incentives, tax credits, things like that. They're really... You know, that's who we see a lot of them, you know, kind of coming up and we've made it a big part of our, our marketing is, you know, to include that, you know, eco-friendly, you know, energy cost savings, tax credits, anything along those lines. Um, so keep that in mind when you're ge generating an offer, those are very, very popular and it's going to open up a whole niche of pro of customers you haven't traditionally done business with, right? So just adding that element into your offers can bring in a whole different stream of customers that you hadn't traditionally been been targeting. Um, the home value uh, booster HVAC package partner with a local realtor to offer a free home value assessment with every HVAC installation, highlighting the increase in home value and efficiency that the new HVAC system brings. Okay. Again, I stole this from one of the ones that we do. So uh, what we've done with realtors is we've got a couple of different offers. One that's been the most successful for us is let's say a roof needs to be replaced and they've done that in the assessment. All right. Rather than them giving it up to um, for the new owner to kind of get a discount off the price of the house. All right. What they'll do is we'll compare those before them actually doing the work getting it done through us. And it's always, you know, it's always to our benefits. So a good example of this is, you know, they're going to have to rebate $10,000 off the house value, right? We're only 7,500. Okay. So it's just, again, that's, um, you know, an option that you can run, um, especially if you're trying to do like network marketing, which with realtors and stuff like that. Um, seasonal maintenance uh, HVAC plan include a five-year seasonal maintenance plan, two inspections per year with every HVAC system replacement, ensuring long-term system performance and indoor comfort. Um, again, this is right back to the the old HVAC tricks with um, you know creating a maintenance schedule or maintenance um, a maintenance plan where you're locking down that customer for life. Is if you get to service that. Um, that replacement for the next 12 to 15 years, right? Before you replace it again, that's a pretty, you know, a pretty decent deal. And it is the reoccurring revenue, right? So you can sign these on reoccurring revenue. It also allows you to sell the actual installation for much higher. Okay. Differentiate you from the market. You're going to be 100% appealing to those um, value conscious uh, consumers. People that are looking for peace of mind tend to be higher end you know, willing to spend $20,000 versus $12,000 on an installation. This is how you would position that offer. Um, the smart home HVAC integration offer free smart uh, thermostat with every HVAC installation, allowing homeowners to optimize their energy uh, use comfort with their smart technology. You can also do this in commercial as well. Very, very popular. Again, anytime you're adding something to the offer, again, it's going to differentiate you from everything else that they're seeing or looking at. Um, and it's going to, you know, again, help your offer to get picked up a lot sooner. And it's, you know, giving them some value up front. Okay. Um, weekend Warrior HVAC Special provide a 15% discount for HVAC systems installation scheduled on weekends, catering to homeowners with uh, weekday commitments. Um, we've, again, this was stolen from something that we did. So um, we, uh, before we went to our four-day work week, um, we used to have, we wanted to work right through the weekends and stuff, but there would be a lot of objections to that. Um, so we'd also offer a discount. It's kind of counter counterintuitive um, is, you know, by offering them that the people that wanted to be there to watch the, the roof installed, we actually, you know, we're speaking directly to them. Okay. So think about the homeowner that's like, you know, trying to get a roofing company to work, do it on the weekend so they can be there or an HVAC installation, for example, okay? Well, if I run a promotion like that, how how likely is it to convert them? Very, right? You've just answered the one problem that they have or the one, the thing that's holding them back from making a decision. 
and you've incentivized it. Now, it doesn't have to be as high as 20%, but again, you could even make that as the offer. Okay. Um, HVAC for a cause program, donate a portion of every HVAC system installation to a local charity with a homeowner choosing from a list of uh, causes, combining community support with comfort solutions. So again, totally different avatar, right? So if you're looking at the avatar or the type of person I'm looking to attract with this offer or promotion, very, very different than um, possibly the, you know, the homeowner looking for peace of mind. Right. This is going to be somebody that's very involved in the community, um, you know, that that is, um, you know, does charity work, stuff like that. And again, there's a huge audience there that you'll bring in just with that offer. All right. So it's not going to appeal to everybody, but it's going to appeal to a specific, you know, group of people that are within the community. And these guys, by the way, the community groups like that when you're running a community offer, um, that's where you get the highest amount of referrals from in my experience anyways all right um again it tends to be something that gets uh gets shared around a lot okay golden h uh our hvac booking incentive so offer 250 uh gift card for appointments booked during off-peak hours um incentivizing customers to schedule convenient times right um so this one again it's just about getting um getting appointments booked consistently um and incentifying and this actually wasn't supposed this was supposed to be for a closed appointment i made a mistake on that so it's actually supposed to be for a closed sale so if they book their um appointment in off hours all right so seven to nine four to six um then they would get a 250 dollar visa discount uh, discount for booking the appointment in that time if they went ahead with their installation right the rainy day HVAC guarantee provide $500 cash bonus. If it rains on the day of the HVAC system installation, adding fun and excitement, exciting element to the process. We ran this one a couple years ago. It actually was pretty good. Um, and it got a lot of deals closed. Um, and basically it was just like betting on the weather. Right. So, and yeah, it's again, to like, who do you think you're going to attract with that? Right. A very specific group. Is that the same as the community group above? No. Right. So I'm spreading these promotions and I'm thinking about the avatar of the type of person that I'm I'm trying to do business with. And I'm making them an offer that's going to stand out specifically to them. Right. So there's lots of people that will take you up on that, too. Lots of people. Um so partner with a local plumbing installation companies to offer um 30% discount when homeowners replace their HVAC systems, plumbing, and installation simultaneously creating a complete home comfort solution. Okay. So getting them to upsell or do more, right? We've done this with window companies. We've done this with like windows and doors. We've done this with insulation. This one really does work when you pair two problems they have, especially if you're doing an initial inspection um, and, you know, presenting that to them as a, as a complete package. Um, we've been really successful at that in the past. Um, again, you don't have to offer such a steep discount, but um, they definitely do work. And if you've got a good relationship with a plumbing company, they're going to share leads with you as well. And you can even co-market, um, which I brought up before. So again, you've got two contractors basically competing. If you put your money together, you're going to get a far further reach, right? Because you're competing for the exact same customer. All right, just different services. So why not work together versus, you know, competing with each other or paying, you know, for that cost per acquired lead when typically it's they're going to need both services, right? Okay, um, this one's kind of stolen from mine. So offer a free drone uh, based exterior inspection of rooftop HVAC units, provide homeowners with digital 3D model of their home, adding high tech appeal to the process. So I wasn't really sure about this one. It's more stolen from mine, but um, HVAC companies are using drones, um, especially for commercial units now. You can get them with infrared and stuff like that. Um, very, very appealing. This is more of a sales thing, okay? So we sell a lot with the fact that we do it, like we do drone, right? We use our drone for, for you know, selling of the job, right? We show homeowners kind of their roof befores and afters all those kind of things. Again, very specific type of people that are kind of interested in that, right? Um, so if you're making those kind of offers and if it adds an element of inspection, where I got this from is, is again, the infrared 
um, technology for home service audits, like for energy audits and stuff like that. Um, really, really like, again, it's, it's, it goes a long, long way with, uh, with certain homeowners and business owners too. I mean, if you can show them a problem and they can identify it, you know, through your, your infrared and everything else, they're far more likely to see you as a consultant and want to move forward. All right. Um, the cool comfort, uh, rebate match. So match any local utility company rebates for energy efficient HVAC systems installation, doubling the incentive for homeowners choosing energy saving options. All right. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, the referral snowball um, HVAC program. So increase the referral reward by $100 for each subsequent referral from the same homeowner, encouraging repeat referrals with a new HVAC system installation. This can be for anybody, by the way. So what this means is basically every time somebody makes a multiple referral, you'll increase the incentive. All right. So you can also do this in blocks. Um, I've done it before. Um, the first five are like at, you know, a hundred bucks, you know, after five, they become 125, right? To 10, after 10, they're like 200, right? At that point, again, think about the, the opportunity there. Um, and what are you paying to acquire a lead now, right? So the average lead's about 100 bucks, right? Now you've got somebody that's making uh, consistent leads and you will find people um, that will refer you nonstop. I've got some, some homeowners that referred us over 20 times. Right. And we've landed a good portion of those jobs. So mu I much rather give them an incentive than to give, you know, Meta or Google the, the money for marketing for the new lead. And it's always a warmer lead. Right. You have an introduction. Um, so you're much, much higher likely to close that deal than a cold lead. So, again, it's taking the referral incentivizing it. That is the offer. OK. So again, it's not, you know, completely reliant on word of mouth. Um, somebody, you know, going out and, and, you know, recommending you, they're actually incentivized to do it. Do you, um, uh, do you have to qualify that somehow about the referral? For sure. Like so you'd be terms and conditions to it. Um, so I've, I've gone now, our, our offer system is based on just deals closed, right? So um, if we close a deal, we give them 500 bucks. Um, my, you know, my average cost to acquire a customer is about 1380. So I'm beating the market. Um, again, they're happy. Everybody else is happy. And a lot of times it's, it's pretty easy for them to, to do. We even with the system that we've installed with all of our clients, um, you can just get them to share their referral or review on their social media. And anybody that hits that link all right, is now incentivized, and you that's how you would basically compensate them. So, if somebody if they were to share it in their social media, hey, I worked with this great company, and we used the review they gave us on Google, and then somebody were to click on that and then get a quote from us, and we sold the job, we would give them the $500 credit, right? So, that's the way it's been working for us. So, it's not a lot of work for them, but the, the principle here is 300 people, or every, every person knows 300 people, right? So if you get them to share it and it gets to go sort of viral, all right, that's an awesome way to really bring your costs down. And I much rather pay people rather than pay the algorithms and pay the the marketing, you know, Google and uh, Facebook for for leads. Um, the HVAC uh, for life guarantee offer transferable lifetime warranty that can be passed on to the next home or boosting home. Homes uh, resale value appealing to those uh, planning to sell in the future, um, and this is just another clever way to continue to offer your um, your reoccurring services and maintenance packages to the new homeowner. Right. So, I mean, having that transfer, um, we do that with roofs as well. So we have a transferable warranty. And again, if you're if you're focusing in on the maintenance and reoccurring lifetime value of a customer, really really clever way to kind of position it from the beginning. Um, and you want to be servicing that unit to replacement, right? Um, neighborhood comfort HVAC incentive. So provide a tiered discount structure, 5, 10, 15% when two, three, or four homes in the same neighborhood sign up for HVAC system installation, encouraging neighborhood wide upgrades. Okay. So that was just like the one I had explained to you before. 
Um, Nick, this would work for you as well, right? Anybody that's in the same neighborhood, homes are generally the same same condition. Even uh, in commercial, you have buildings that are roughly the same age as well. So offering that incentive is pretty is pretty clever for you know getting additional business in that area, right? If they want to get like a group discount. Um, the four season HVAC uh, protection package includes a free upgrade for season specific protection, like dehumidifiers or summer humidifiers uh, for winter uh, with every HVAC installation, ensuring your round comfort. Um, virtual experience discount. So offer a 7% discount for homeowners who use the company's virtual um, app to explore or select new HVAC systems, uh, making the decision-making process faster and more convenient. So we're going to talk a lot about this particular one um, and how we can actually make sales without, you know, having to go to somebody's home and, or somebody's business and, you know, um, do hard, you know, hard sales. I use this one quite often, uh, something similar to it, I should say. And basically what it's uh, designed to do is take and actually have somebody sell themselves. Right. So you're going to give them a proposal, you know, if they if they like and trust you through the proposal. All right. And they're able to move forward and make the selections in, in your app or on your on your website. Um, this is just moving more to a, a, a quicker sale. Right. You're offering a discount if they're doing that. This is often what you're doing is you're forfeiting sales commission. Right. So if they're buying direct, they know they want to work with you. All right. You make that available for them and you're dropping the sales commission that you would otherwise pay. Um, green HVAC grant match. So match dollar for dollar for any local state grants um, received uh, for installing energy efficient HVAC systems, making it sustainable options and more affordable for homeowners. Pretty straightforward there. Okay. So what did you guys uh, take away from all of that? What's something that you could, uh, you could offer that would be specific to your your customers and your brand and for me that would be like the financing that would be a good yep. one so absolutely that's for like the big price objective uh, objection mm -hmm. uh, and also like a uh, discount for the neighbor i was thinking about doing that uh you know having some flyers something where uh, even like the little signs on the yard like hey we're in the area discount or something but mm -hmm. if i just put that in the in the euro page like so they might be like be like hey let's talk to my neighbor i know he's got so he had a flood or something and Right. So you can just everybody gets like a five percent, but then we're getting two sales in the area. <laughs> right. So again, we're gonna talk more about how to present these offers and 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 you can stack offers. Okay. So most people don't realize that. So like let's say you're running a promotion. Um, you know, your core offer is actually your, you know, your drywall installation, right? Um, but when you propose that, what you're doing is you're also gonna try and get them to upgrade or you know, cross sell. Right. So this is where I think many, many contractors leave so much money sitting on the table is they go in with one offer. They go in with one specific thing. All right. And then, you know, it doesn't give them enough range. Um, so, you know, somebody coming out might have a cheaper, you know, a cheaper version of that. So, you, you know, they can do it at a better price. If you were doing like a good, better, best or a packaging of that offer. Right. You could also put these promotions on top of it to get them to upgrade. Right. So giving a 5% discount on, um, you know, soundproofing. Well, they didn't even know you did soundproofing. Wow. I can upgrade to soundproofing. Like that just opened the whole conversation up. Right. Where now you're actually upselling them on the, on the, um, on the original core offer. Mm -hmm. Does that makes sense. Yeah. Right. So it's just thinking about these things. Um, and again, we should take a, a page out of the HVAC uh, book. When they go in, they have like five, you know, five systems that they can offer, right? They have everything from basically the economy entry level to like, you know, the the supreme deluxe, right? And the way they present that is very much good, better, best, right? So they're they're trying to put the decision in the the owner's uh, hands, and they know each one of those have a specific offer, right? So if you're offering this type of system, it comes with a 15 year, 100 percent, like you know. Um, guarantee right parts and services but they have that built into the price the prices can go all the way from let's say eight thousand to forty thousand right you're going to find somebody in that range they're going to be able to to adjust what they want so it's very much like almost like buying you know catalog options make sense mm. Mm. 
Okay. So um, in terms of finding the resources, um, they're going to be posted on the Facebook page. I've even ran some, or not Facebook page, sorry, the school page. Um, I've also ran for you guys um, some other resources in here I want to share with you. And I'll be putting up a few more as well. Um, specific type of marketing offers that you can make. So I'll add a couple more in, in here. But here's an actual HVAC promotion offer, right? So again, what would the advertising look like? What would the marketing look like? Um, you know, we all we always want to use a direct response marketing strategy. So um, anybody here know what direct response marketing is? No? Okay. So it's pretty simple. Direct response has a measurable ROI to every piece that you're putting out. So if I were to do this, it's like, um, direct mail. Has anyone, you, you know how you get junk uh, mail? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, every piece can be measured, right? If I put out 5,000 pieces and I got back this many leads, how many did I convert? All right. It, it has a, a measurable ROI to it versus like brand marketing where we, you know, go and put our name on the hockey boards at a local hockey arena. Like we can't really measure what the ROI is over that. Um, because we're just trying to get our brand out there. Direct response is exactly how it sounds, right? We're trying to get, you know, the person or the, the, um, the avatar to make a, you know, to take action on something, right? Infomercials, that's a direct response. So if you've ever watched an infomercial, that's a hundred percent direct response. Like they can, you know, they're trying to get you to buy a product. It's very specific, right? Um, so this is a, a form of direct response, um, mail, all right, which still work very effectively. You can run these in emails, but essentially you're reaching out to someone and making them an offer, all right, and trying to get them to convert into a customer. Okay, so this also can be an example of a direct response promotion, all right, where we're actually going through, you know, what their issues are, what their problems are, and then giving them a solution, offering them a solution to that problem. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more about this, but again, Hopefully our, our takeaways from today is going to be, you know, it's more than just marketing. So again, if I go out and I say that I'm a general contractor, okay. And I offer, you know, everything under the sun. All right. Who's that going to speak to? It's very general, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know, again, you're going to sound more like a handyman than, than a, than a specialist. However, if I go out and I, and I'm specifically targeting a neighborhood that needs to upgrade, you know, um, their basements, right? Brand new subdivision that wants to upgrade, upgrade their basements. I'm going to go in and say that I'm the specialist at those kind of basement upgrades. And I might add in, I give them 3d imaging. Right. I, you know, we, we've got designed packages already ready to go. Um, again, you're going to have a tremendously stronger offer and something that you can actually add marketing to now. Right. So adding the traffic to that is going to get a lot more conversions than just saying I'm a general contractor that does basements. Mm. Make sense. Okay. So I want you to think about your, your customer, the, the type of customer that you're doing business with, the one that you like doing business with. And the, the fun in this is come up with a simple offer that you can make. So Nick, you mentioned, um, you know, running the HVAC offer or Jesus, sorry, uh, running the, the financing offer. Yeah. All right. Well, again, I've given you some examples of what that could be. It could be six months, not non-payment, get your drywall today. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to work on that. Plus also the neighbor thing. Yep. Start getting in those like a uh, subdivision basements. Then you can yep. upset like the, do a discount if you're doing like the soundproofing and yep. then the financing on top of that, plus the neighbor. So now yeah. you get like three offers, just like you said, then it would right. be like, that would be. And you could run those, you could market to those individually because they're going to bring in three different type of customers, right? So the, the customer specifically that's looking for soundproofing, for example, is probably not the same one that's looking for basements. And there's a lot of soundproofing in basements. So that's yep. it can be. They might right? not know. So, I mean, some people may not even be aware, right? So again, if your offer is really great, really good, it'll also create that awareness, right? Oh, I didn't mm -hmm. know that there was a product that could soundproof, yep. right? So they do want a soundproof basement that they're problem aware, but not solution aware. So yep. your offer might be around offering the solution to that problem.
right? All right. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So here's the homework for tonight. Um, I want to keep it really simple if you guys can. All right. I'd like you to post your offers in school. All right. Whatever offer you're going to make. And then we can have a discussion around them. And I will help you to kind of craft them uh, to get them very specific. Um, if you want to run two or three offers even, um, totally open to helping you to kind of lock those in. Um, and um, we'll review them. And uh, you know, see see if um, if you guys are are confident enough to run them in your marketing to generate more revenue, more business. You want to post them just in the just in school, yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. All right, guys. Any uh, any questions? No. Okay. Hey Trevor, how's it going, man? Good, buddy. How you doing? Not too bad. I put the electrical ones in there too. So oh, okay. Yeah. So I got ones for electricians in there. Um, if you want to pick a pick an offer from there, it's getting pretty close to where we can be we can be running those as well. Okay. Is that thrown in the classroom or in yep. the chat? I mean. Yep. Well, not okay. in the chat. It's in uh, it's in school. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you. Uh, Jay. Yeah. I did call finance it to see yep. about commercial and they said no. And I asked them if they knew anybody that did and they said no to that. So um, I've, I'll find you the one for commercial. Yeah. I've been looking around. I haven't. Uh, been able most to banks, it. most banks run them too, but let me, uh, let me dig one out for you. Cause that's, I've, I, I know for sure we use them for, for commercial like flat roofs and stuff like that. I've got, I just yeah. can't remember the name, so I'll dig it out and I'll, I'll send it over to you. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys. Hope you got some value from today and let's, uh, let's take some action and create some offers. Thank you, Jake. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Yes.